change is never easy. However, one of the famous Greek philosophers once stated that change is the only constant. It is something that we have to embrace in our daily life and live around it. Think about the toy you played when you were a kid. You probably cannot find it in the store easily today. Let's take it a little bit closer. The toy that you bought for your oldest kid is probably not as trendy as the one that your youngest kid is playing. On the other hand, is change always a good thing? Obviously not. But yes, we can intentionally bring in change for the better. You may go, what? It's always harder to do than to say as we try to bring in successful transformation. Don't freak out though. Here is the formula for change by Carter, with a specific step that would help you steer through the terrifying storm of change. First, you need to create a sense of urgency. It is our nature to avoid leaving our comfort zone. Tend to stay in our routine and habit as we grow, don't we? So here is the catch. If you want to bring in change in your organization, you need to first draw everyone into the same boat that they perceive as a sinking boat. No one will leave the boat unless they realize there are only two options, change or die. After that, the second step is to establish a guiding coalition. Team power can seriously strengthen the idea of change. It is important to put together a group with enough power to lead the change. Therefore, team up with people who are also feeling the urge to do something. The third step is to develop vision and strategy. After pulling people on board to the rescue ship, now you should finalize your vision and the way to the destination. Once you have it organized in your mind, then it is time to communicate with the team. The fourth step of Carter's model is to clearly describe how you envision the end goal and practical step that took you there. Clear communication will increase the team efficiency. It will also be helpful to bring in role models with successful stories, which can strongly empower and enable the team. This also leads to the fifth step of the change model, to empower and enable broad-based actions. Specifically identify the obstacles and then remove them. Change the structure that may keep the team from the vision. Encouragement is also very critical at this point, especially when your team is going through the process of risk-taking, new ideas, and innovative activities that could sound crazy to the outside world. After that, it is almost halfway through the process of change. It is time to take a break from selling and have an evaluation. But more importantly, it is time to celebrate. You have put in so much effort that it is time to gather and enjoy as you have reached the sixth step, generating short-term wins. Let's celebrate what you have conquered so far. Nonetheless, remember you are not there yet. The seventh step is another critical point of the change process. After some celebration, make sure you consolidate gains and produce more change. Yes, you have overcome so much in the previous months, but the mission is not done yet. Keep going and don't forget the final destination. Now I know you're all tired as you have powered through 7 steps already. Let's keep your heads up as you are at the last step of the change process, anchoring new approaches in the new culture. Congratulations guys! You have now arrived at your destination. But don't get too excited yet. Lower down the anchor so that you won't fade away with the flow. Make sure you articulate the connections between new behaviors and organization success. Wrap it all up and be sure it is secure in the new culture. Last word of advice, this A-step of change model is a cycle. Meaning if you want to stay alive, it may be 
time to start all over again. Good luck!